I use old vegetable oil to re-season some of my, my pots and pans when they start to get rusty. Wall man thought it'd be nice to come out here and cook supper tonight. Cheddar pepper, I mean, uh, bacon cheddar burgers. And some tots sound pretty good for supper. My sweetheart, she's taking her a nap. And I thought, you know, she didn't lay out nothing for supper. You know, when you get old, sometimes you get forgetful. And we're at that age where we have some time, or sometimes we remember and sometimes we don't. So I, thought, I bet she didn't. I better check. Sure enough, she didn't. Just like the other day, I pulled pulled up in the driveway where I, where I used to park, but, and I thought, well, who who who'd been in the truck? And she said, "You idiot! You're the one that parked there." <laughs> I'd forgot all about parking there. <laughs> oh, it's fun growing old together. We get to laugh at each other. <laughs> but I've been busy cutting wood. Those, uh, I do 90% of the laundry and the dishes anymore. And it takes a lot to uh, do laundry, dishes. And I, if I cook, and I love to cook, I mostly do it right out here. Outside. Yeah, Dandy, ain't nobody forgot about you, darling. But while I'm getting hot coals, I decided I'd just season that fan. Since I got to cook supper, I needed to, needed to re-season. what you call flame bro yeah that's what you call flame bro we ain't got nothing on cooking you like I said I'm just I just put oil on there to kind of season it up it's kind of getting a little rusty Actually, a steel grill, but uh, I put oil on it and uh, bake it in on the steel grill, and then uh, then I'll put uh, some hog fat or something on it, kind of like I would in my cast iron when I'm I'm, I'm done because you still will rust more. What do you think about it, Pepe? Oh no. some good eat. Got a guy coming to look at uh, my truck, see if we can get it going, and hopefully I can get the barred one back.
Get on, boys. Get. Get. Get on. Nothing sounds better than that sizzle. I see you back there, Pete. Yeah, that steel grill, I like to uh, give it a dose of, after I cook on it, I'll wash it, and then I'll get some lard and uh, put on it, and that helps keep it from rusting, helps, helps season the steel. Like I said, it, this one's steel. I got one of where it's cast on. Here in the woods by the house, I'm surrounded by woods, and uh, it's just so nice and peaceful. The river's just right down there. I have a slough with fish in it. Under the hill, I have a spring. Smells good, don't it? Was mowing a little bit while ago with, with the, the old push mower, and uh, my blade, I've had to take it off and rebend that thing two or three times. And it just started shaking. I guess I had to break down and get another blade. Instead of a minus touch, I got anything I touch just falls apart, except unless it's food. <laughs> oh. for the big trucks running up and down the road all the time. It'd be peaceful. You know, when I was a kid, they didn't, they would, you might have a log truck every now and then, but now it's been, of course, a chicken truck, a feed truck, or when it's catching chicken. Now it's every big rig you can imagine coming up and down the road. And, you know, late of a night as a teenager, except on weekends, that road was dead. Not anymore. 24-7. Takes people run up and down the road. And that's here in the country. Now, in the city, you'd expect it. But that, that's just how much it's changed here in the country. I figure some cheeseburgers and tots with some Homegrown tomatoes and lettuce and onions go pretty good.
themselves. Good grilled burger. Thanks for watching. Arkansas Wild Man Survival.